Did I go to war and get passive and freeze up? Music helped the ice to thaw Put the chisel in the middle, swing the hammer of Thor Pull it out of the impossible, this caliber sword Edging on First off, I'd like to apologize for the delinquency of our videos. We've been having this thing with YouTube. It's ad suitability and stuff like that. So they put your video on yellow and it takes a little time for them to clear it. It could take up to seven days. So we apologize for that. Yes. We're going to try to get out of that yellow area. Mm -hmm. uh, we're almost there. We put out over 30 videos that we were good, but hey, we got to keep going. It's supposed to be 20 videos. We're 10 more and we're still on it. So we apologize. That being said, what do we got next, Brie? Ren Troubles. Troubles. We I all got those. <laughs> I know. Y'all wow. patiently waiting and we appreciate y'all. <laughs> How ironic that is. Troubles. Yeah. We're going through some troubles right now. <laughs> That's right. ironic. That being said, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to comment, subscribe, thumbs up. Slap that red button. And yes, for you Ren fans, she has her own mic. Now she can talk. Now you ain't got to worry about me talking over her and interrupting her. <laughs> she got her own voice. All right? We're not sharing one. <laughs> Let's go. They're going to be like, mute yours. <laughs> That's the next step. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Ooh, love it. Love it so hard. I like that beat. Hold on, I gotta rewind that. I apologize. I really do gotta rewind that. That sounds so. That's nice. I don't reach into the past very much for these shards of shattered glass and harsh paper cuts. Leave me stop when I reach in. Memories are seeped in. Hydrochloric acid, I go to war and get passive and freeze up. Music help the ice to thaw. Put the chisel in the middle, swing the hammer of Thor. Pull it out of the impossible, this caliber sword. Edging no pass full of reasons why my feelings are sore. The first day that I got sick, ejected from the cockpit of living. 19, young teen, waking up bitter. Po Yo, I like that. Ejected yeah. from the cockpit of living. Wow. Go wow. <laughs> yeah, you got some goosebumps. Yeah, Yo, she got some goosebumps. You want some ice for that? No. No. <laughs> Gonna make it worse. Hey, man, he rhyming on this one. He rhyming. Let's bring it back. Let's go. Somebody said that they really think you're gonna. That he gonna rhyming on this one. Mm -hmm. rapid, rapid. I don't reach into the past very much for these shards of shattered glass and harsh paper cuts. Leave me stop what? when I reach in. Memories are seeped in. Hydrochloric acid, I go to war and get passive and freeze up. Music help the ice to thaw. Put the chisel in the middle, swing the hammer of Thor. Pull it out of the impossible, this caliber sword. Edging no pass full of reasons why my feelings are sore. The first day that I got sick, ejected from the cockpit of living. 19, young teen, waking up. You know what? I like that. Now that I rewind it, sorry, I'm going to keep pausing. I like that. So basically when he got sick, he got ejected from the cockpit of living, meaning he's no longer in control of the aircraft. He's no longer in control of that cruise control. Like, it's basically, he's not in control no more. Yeah. He's not the driver no more. Mm -hmm. Now he the passenger to whatever happens. Mm -hmm. Damn. Wow. That was deep, man. This is one of them tracks I'm going to have to go back and listen to a thousand times because there's a lot in here, man. There's a lot of substance in this track. Yeah. Let's go. Rent, rent killing this one. Edging no pass full of reasons why my feelings are sore. The first day that I got sick, ejected from the cockpit of living. 19, young teen, waking up bitter. Posters up, manhunt, ran went missing. Hard to have faith when the gods don't listen. The first year, baby, was the hardest. Waking in the body that was buried like a carcass. Brain. Yo, bro, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Ran, yo, Ran, I gotta take a break real quick. I gotta, yo, I gotta, I, I, I get, yo, I gotta take a bathroom break. Because, bro, what he's saying, he's snapping, bro. He's speaking. And the way he's doing it metaphorically, the metaphors is insane. Got to rewind again. Sorry.
Got to rewind again. Sorry. Yeah. Yo, these metaphors is insane. Up, man, hunt, ran, went missing. Hard to have faith when the gods don't listen. The first year, baby, was the hardest. Waking in the body that was buried like a carcass. Brain in the lion's den, body in the shark pit. Waking up in pain again, aching, broken hearted. Persistent little bugger, I was bouncing from a doctor to a doctor to a doctor. Like a table tennis game that has no end. So be the fate of Ren. Every single question answered with a question on the end. The second year, I came to terms with giving up my dream. Yo! The contradictory, bro. The contradictory question of the answer with a question at the end. You know what I'm saying? So you get the answer, but there's another question at the end. You know what I'm saying? Because the answers really ain't fulfilling what the actual question is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not really an answer at all. It's really like kind of cryptic, no? Yes. Wow. To a doctor like a table tennis game that has no end So be the fate of Ren Every single question answered with a question on the end The second year I came to terms with giving up my dreams Mine was ever from the means to help me write these rhyme schemes Brain was inflamed, the fatigue was crushing Hard to remain sane with your brain combusting And the third year was mine Yo, so that right there is mental I'm sorry, I don't. if you guys don't like it, I apologize, bro Did This this one's touching me You guys always talk, talk about one's not touching me This I can relate to because you know You know with all the medications and stuff, man They they got me on a new one now Got me a little more calm though, I ain't gonna lie But I, I see what he's trying to say Because like, his brain, you know what I'm saying he, he's, His brain ain't functioning the way it should yep. You know what I'm saying He's taking all this stuff But he, yo, he's kind of absent-minded in a way yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because he's not himself no more. That's why he's talking about the corpse. You know what I'm saying? All of that. This is just like really, really deep, bro. And I'm just trying to mash up everything he's saying from what he said prior to this. But it's just so much all intertwined, bro. He's like, he's fusing it together real well. He's basically saying he ain't well. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? As soon as he got sick, it was where his control wasn't there. He felt like, you know, he, he's trying to get himself back. He's trying to find himself. He's thinking going through these doctors is going to help him find himself. But he's left with more questions. Yeah. He's left with more questions than answers. Every answer he gets is another question to it because it's not fulfilling that part of the gap in his journey to getting back to himself. I know. This making me want to cry. He's he, he, <laughs> Seriously, he's, play, he's playing hopscotch with life. <sighs> he's playing hopscotch through life. If you ever if you've ever played it, you throw a rock, then you bend down, you know what I'm saying? You're down, you're up, you gotta He's playing hopscotch through life. Living in a pug, Tori for the worry with the live to be thirty. Lifestyle hurt me. Always in my bed to rearrange the alphabet and all the letters spell doom. Light hurt wow. my eyes, popping pills to survive. When you're twenty-three and mentally you steadily decline. Twenty-four, I was poor. Disability benefits. What's the benefit of disability? It's irrelevant. Twenty-five and the scars that were etched, they crap. Elastic bands only stretch so far and then snap deep in psychosis. Hallucinations, troubled vision. This is from the underworld. We're conjuring my superstition 25 living back at home with my mom But not because I'm a bum Alone and physically done So thin, so frail, so weak at the con And my skin so pale Never kissed by the sun what? Now, hey, I get that Basically, skin so pale Never kissed by the sun Because basically, he ain't going out no more He's living in a state of depression But I understand that, you know Disability, you know, benefits and stuff like that Because my son is autistic and I get it, like, you know, they give that to younger kids that, you know, have autism, have, you know, issues or wh whatever type of issues they're going through. It's got to be some type of a health impairment. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I get it. He's like, what's the benefit of being disabled? Yeah. You know, how is there benefits to it? I like the way he flipped it on it because they do. They, they give you a stipend every month. Yeah. You know, which is not very much, but they do give you a stipend every month. Whether you're underage or not, it goes to the parent or whatever. But I do understand where he's coming from. And I like that flip. This is like really hitting home. This is one of them personal, personal, personal tracks. So yeah. I apologize if I pause and, and, and talk too much. But hey, this is one of them ones. If you want to see how I am, when something hits me, this is how it is. Let's go.
I'm living back at home with my mom, but not because I'm a bum, alone and physically done. So thin, so frail, so weak I'd become, and my skin so pale, never kissed by the sun. One time I carved a hole in my chest just to feel, I wish that was a metaphor, the struggle was real. When you're living in the holocaust, you buckle and kneel, there's relief in the teeth of the kiss of cold steel. Facts, 26, I'm highly medicated and no So, is this true? Did he really poke a hole in his chest? He said it's, he wished, he it, said he wished it was a metaphor, right? I get that. I, I, I get that. When you start feeling like nothing, you want to feel something. He said he went through with it, man. He, he, he actually felt relief in that. He felt relief in that. That, that, that right there, man. <laughs> wow. Metaphor, the struggle was real When you're living in the holocaust, you buckle and kneel There's relief in the teeth of the kiss of cold steel Facts, 26, I'm highly medicated And the pain sophisticated While I'm lying broken naked on my back Have all my microphone until my coffin started dropping Raw thoughts with the grim reaper knocking on the track But then, man, lo and behold I heard an angel beckon on this treacherous road Was a stem cell doctor with a generous glow In the cell transplant, pour me out of the cold And my skin got young and my body got stronger And my stomach felt hunger For a door that was closed And my soul heard music for the first time Beauty was a word I'd use for this gift of gold Oh Lord I forgive you Lord I forgive you Lord I forgive you Make me whole This music I Yo 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 Lord I forgive you So he was cursing the Lord the whole time man And he's like Lord I forgive you man You bless me I guess some st stem ugh, stem cells got him back to where he felt better, and I heard that that's an interesting. Uh, I, I I heard that helps a lot of people. Yeah. With a lot of issues, so you know, no matter what it is, you know what I mean, bad back or whatever. Just I heard the stem cell, the stem cell research and everything that's going on is really really valuable right now to a lot of people that is willing to go through with it. And hey, man. Hey, at least he's blessed. So now he's feeling blessed at this point. He's not feeling like he's cursed anymore. Yeah. Wow, wow. Let's go. First time beauty was a word I'd use for this gift of gold. Oh, Lord, I forgive you. Lord, I forgive you. Lord, I forgive you. Make me whole. This music I give you. Pain that I live through. Everything I've been through is yours to hold. add a caveat to that right there so i think we all do need because he said you know we all deserve a life free of suffering i think suffering does teach you something and i think without suffering you can never really feel too true pleasure or appreciate true pleasure if you don't suffer a little bit so we all have to go through some, you know, trials, tribulations and stuff like that just for the, us to appreciate them good times. That's what, you know what I mean. You can make it through even though it may not seem like it. You'll make it through. Without rain, you can't appreciate the sun. You get what I mean? Because they, they, they both they both have their value. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? It, 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 they both have their values and their places. So I do think a bit of suffering is good for the soul is good for people. You know what I mean? You need to feel pain. Yeah. So you know what pleasure feels like. Definitely. You know what I mean? If you just have pleasure all the time and you don't have pain, you're you going to get used life. to that feeling. Mm -hmm. You're going to get used to that feeling. But that being said, I obviously know what you thought. You had a million goosebumps. Shit, but Ren always gives you goosebumps. There's not nothing always, new with that. He's not always. It's just this one. I could feel him. 
This hit the soul. This hit the soul. This definitely was good for the soul. This was a good, good track. Again, get them likes up. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Without you, there's no us. That being said, if you're new to the channel, forget to comment, scrap thumbs up, slap that red button.